Here we are, uh, leaving. I don't even know where we're at. Can you believe that? We're at Atlantic Municipal, which is Atlantic, Iowa. So yeah, we're heading to Nebraska now and gonna keep on trucking. Well, I thought I had my camera on, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> anyway, we're just now leaving uh, Atlantic in Atlantic, Iowa and just uh, took off. Now we're headed to our next stop is in Nebraska. Woohoo! The Missouri River. Entering into Nebraska. Woohoo! Looks like we made it. Here we are, out over Nebraska. Just finished our little oat meal. We're still there, just relaxing. Just a bunch of wild open spaces. We got 129 miles to our next stop. And a total of 654 miles to our final. Gaining. We are crossing over the Neo -ra 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 River. Cannot say that once. Neo -ra -ra. Neo -ra -ra. I would say a Nio because I Nio -ra -ra. Nio -ra -ra. There we go. Anyway, we're crossing the Nio -ra -ra River. And that's the town of Nio -ra -ra. Over on that side. We're still in Nebraska, but we're getting close to South Dakota here. I don't think we got too much further to go. So, that's yeah, pretty out here. Very different. During this portion of the flight, I forgot to tie the main cameras back into the aircraft audio, so I didn't have any sound with this. But here we are coming into Winter, South Dakota, which is identifier India Charlie Romeo. It's at 2,032 feet with a 5,500 foot runway, and I highly recommend stopping here if you're in the South Dakota area. Uh, great long runway, plenty of um, services available. The woman and her husband were very, very generous and helpful when we landed there. Uh, on our entire trip, other than our final destination, this was the only place that we had anybody come out and offer any help. And, of course, with COVID and things going on, that's not entirely surprising. But this lady went out of her way to come out, fuel us up. They have a courtesy car, go into town, anything you needed, um, place to stay, whatever the case is. Uh, they were just very helpful. And gas prices were good, too. So if you're in the South Dakota area, um, check out Winter. 
it is definitely a great place to stop and we made this a stop on our way home as well just because of that and we went into town and grabbed some food at a Mexican restaurant and just one of the more pleasant experiences and places to visit along our route. recommended stop by several of you all, so we'll see if it's worth it. <laughs> I'm getting conflicting wind information here, so I really want to see what's going on. It looks like uh, 3 zero is the preferred runway. No, I mean 1-2. Sorry. 1-2. All traffic session one eight golf is entering the left down wind for a one two wall. Golf is based final one two full stop wall. That comment I made about it was getting hot was an understatement, and this turned out to be the most challenging part of our entire trip. Uh, was from this point onward, when we landed here in Wall, South Dakota, it was about 85 86 degrees, and by the time we finished touring the town and walk back out to the airport it was a hundred and one degrees now you can tell here that wall sets at two thousand eight hundred and thirteen feet with a three thousand five hundred foot long runway but the runway has a slight amount of slant and town is on one end and when we came out the winds were gusty um, kind of quartering almost a good crosswind but slightly favoring taking off toward town and what happened was as we came out um, gave it a go and I made a decision about halfway down the runway that it was not going to clear town basically we had a good chunk of fuel on board both of us and all of our baggage and with the high density altitude it just wasn't happening so we cut the power I pushed on the brakes came to a stop by the end of the runway got off and we waited for several hours until conditions improved in order to take off again um, by that time the winds had changed around I was able to take off the other direction we had no trouble taking off but even 2,000 feet off of the ground, the temperature was still 100 degrees, and I really struggled um, keeping the engine temps down, cylinder heads down, and oil temperature down as we had to clear five to 6,000 feet in order to make it across terrain to get into Black Hills, South Dakota, which sets at an elevation of 3,933. 
So density altitude was approximately 9,000 feet uh, across that route, which is a lot on a 150. We made it in, but it wasn't the most comfortable part of the trip for sure. So here's our first real, what would you call it, scenic stop yes. of the trip. We're really going to see something. Window to the west wall. So here it is, downtown wall, huh? This is what it's all about. Apparently it's the drugstore there that's really what everything is known for. It is really hot. Makes me uncomfortable going to take off when it's this hot, but we're going to walk back to the airport. Give it a whirl. Guys, here we are in Black Hills, South Dakota. We're just on the border of Wyoming. And wow, what an experience. So my batteries went dead and we were in a wall. Temperature was 101 degrees. Gusting crosswind to like 15 knots. We tried taking off once and it was a no-go. Just didn't feel good. We waited about an hour. Wind kind of changed a little bit and we took off. It was 100 degrees climbing. We were trying to keep oil temps down and all of that stuff and trying to gain altitude coming in here but air temp finally dropped we got in here the last few miles were easy actually to get in so no issues at all so we're gonna ride into town in Black Hills and grab something to eat come back out here get a shower better night's sleep take off before sunrise tomorrow push on into Cody and finally get us a hotel room and we need it